Okay, for this part of this morning, we are doing writing. Okay, so we are combining lesson 60. Lesson 60 is writing. Lesson 61 is revision. So I'm using it to teach you more on writing. Okay, two lessons here. Right, so for introduction, uh, let's take turns completing a story. Uh, so you all get ready. I'm just going to call any of your names on your mic and we just continue the story. All right, it doesn't have to make sense. Can make as funny as possible. All right, okay. Last Saturday, Adam, sorry, uh, Adam, your name is used, was at the shopping center when he saw a beautiful girl. Right. Adam, continue the story since it's about you. It's your name. Adam, last, just one sentence and then someone else will continue. Last Saturday, Adam was at a shopping center when he saw a beautiful girl. Mm, you like it, right? No, you just continue the story. What happened after you saw the girl, Adam? Just continue. No, Adam, you have to say it, Adam. Everyone will take turns. Come on. Just one sentence. I'm not asking you to finish the story. Someone else will finish the story. Adam. All right, Darwin, continue. Last Saturday, Adam was at the shopping center when he saw a girl. Then, Darwin, what happened? When Adam see the girl, uh, he was flirt. He was flirting with her? Yes. How did he flirt, Uncle? Continue, Uncle. Uncle is so serious, she's wondering how is flirting going on. <laughs> what did the girl do as Adam was flirting with her? The girl was just playing along with Adam, but she does not really have the feeling. Oh, all right. Fatin, continue. But Adam won't give up and uh, he keeps asking her name and her number. Oh, okay. Very persistent. Continue, Fatin Liana. Fatin Liana, continue. What happened? Fatin Liana, are you there? Kirtana, continue Kirtana. From what Fatin Aina said? All of them not in front of their computer, is it? Kawe? Uh, maybe she gave the wrong number to avoid from Adam's conversation. Oh, she gave him the wrong phone number. Kawe? Zenjun? Don't want to try. Nabil? Want to try not, Nabil? Oh, somebody wrote something. Oh, Sole Soleha, the story already continues, Soleha. We don't want him because he saw a promotion. We saw a girl. So, Soleha, I need to re uh, continue where uh, Kirtana said that he had gave the wrong number. After gave the wrong one number, what happened? Nabil? No answer. Hazlina? Oh, Nabil. Okay, Nabil, try Nabil. Adam knows that uh, the phone number is wrong. Oh, how does Adam know, Nabil? Wow, Adam is so fantastic. Eh? He knows the phone number is wrong. Okay, thank you, Nabil. Excellent work, Nabil. 
Hazlina? Hazlina also go toilet. Oh, you know that the number is U-Mobile. Okay, so Adam has given. Adam has said that he knows that the number is a U-Mobile number. All right. Surrender. Surrender also toilet. Tanisha? Uh, a few minutes later, the girl's boyfriend came with his angry face on. Wow, Tanisha, Tanisha. <laughs> oh, this sounds like Tamil drama already. Okay, Rui. Rui, no answer. Honey? Anku <laughs> is laughing. <laughs> the Tamil drama coming Rui, in. Okay. Uh, Tanisha's last sentence is the then the girl's boyfriend came with an angry face. Okay, uh, the girl's boyfriend asked what Adam wants with his girlfriend? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yuchi, can you end the story, Yuchi? Who wants to end the story? Yes, Fatin. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, Yuchi, you want to end the story? Teacher, can I try? Ah, uh, can, can surrender. Go ahead. End the story. Uh, the, the, uh, the uh, girl's girl boyfriend want Adam to not follow his girlfriend again. Wow, surrender, really Tamil drama lah, surrender, that's why you got to <laughs> speak, okay, alright, thank you everyone, so these are ways that you can, um, uh, you know, start a story, one person, and then end with someone else, that everyone gives their, their story, yeah, yeah, no fight scene, because actually should have a fight scene, right, douche, douche, fight scene, then only nice, right, but what to do, we don't have enough time for that kind of drama at the moment, okay, now, the objective of today's le lesson writing is at the end of the lesson, you will be able to explain causes and consequences in a written uh, account of a funny, embarrassing, scary, or annoying experience. So it can be funny, it can be embarrassing, it can be scary or annoying. Choose one, okay, that you have had in four to five paragraphs based on the plan for writing a story you have learned on page 33 in previous writing lesson. Okay? All right? Okay. Then reading, by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to recognize the attitude and opinion of the writer in an account about a holiday based on the choice of words or phrases, tenses, and punctuation used. Okay? We're going to learn all this, all right? Don't worry. So your success criteria is to list the causes and consequences. What is the cause of a funny experience and what is the consequences? What is the cause of an embarrassing experience and what is the consequences? Say with scary or annoying. Explain the causes and consequences. In the first you list, then you explain. All right. Then you write. After you have list the cause and consequences, you explain. You are able to write based on the plan learned on page 33, which we have done long time ago. And then you write in four to five paragraphs. In reading, you list or identify words, phrases, and punctuation used in the account about a holiday that reflects the attitude and opinion of the writer. And then you state or you say the attitude and opinion of the writer based on the words, phrases, and punctuation used. All right? All right, thanks, Soleha. No problem, Soleha. He promised with the girl to come and meet him. Okay, why no happy ending? Huh? Uh, that would be a longer drama, Adam. Okay, this is on textbook page 73. Okay, right? So what you have on page 73 is look at the layout of the text, uh, the layout of the text, and state what you think it is. This is the layout of the text, all right? This is the layout of the text on page 73. So you have, this is the layout. So what do you think it is based on this layout? A diary. A diary, okay. Writing a diary. What do you write in your diary usually? about what happened in holiday throughout the day. Okay. All right, what happened throughout the day? 
So it would be an account of a true event. So you're writing an account of a true event. It can be a diary. It can be in your notebook. You can write a story to share it with people, but it's based on a true event. It's not an imaginary story. Clear to everyone? Okay, All right. So it's an account of the true story. Thank you, Fatin, for the thumbs so that to show you understand. All right. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Adriana. So now in activity A, right, when and where did the event take place? Huh? Tell me based on the um, question here, when and where did the event take place? Can you tell me when and where did the event take place? You can either write it in the chat, okay, box, or you want to say out the answer, fine. Island of Penang. When? What about when? You give where? Tanisha and Adam, very good. You give where? What about when? Third day of a marvelous holiday. Uh, third day of a marvelous holiday. All right, Island of Penang. Thank you, Uncle. Who I don't know who answered that just now. I cannot see the name. All Me. right. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> the third day of holiday. Right. Okay. So the answer is that third day. Okay. At Penang Island. Right. That is where you got the answer from. Third December. How you know? Uh, Adam, 3rd December, the 3rd day of a marvellous holiday doesn't have to be 3rd of December. You know, if I go on the 25th, the 3rd day would be 27, right? So it doesn't mean 3rd December, yeah, Adam? Eh? What happened? All right. So it took place on the 3rd day of the writer's holiday on the island of Penang in Malaysia. Right? So that is where um, you... This is the answer. Third day of the writer's holiday. So it, that doesn't mean third of any month. It's the third day of the writer's holiday on the island of Penang in Malaysia. All right? Okay, let's look at question two. This is in activity A, eh? question two. What's going on? Oh, okay. Sorry, somebody wants to join in suddenly. Ah. Okay, I don't know who's June. Okay, how did the writer feel during and at the end of the experience? Ah, so how did the writer feel during and at the end of the experience? So Unku say embarrassed. Based on what, Unku? Based on where? What did you, where did you get? Embarrassed. At the end, the boy, is it the boy? The boy felt embarrassed. I don't know whether it's a boy or a girl. Embarrassed. Who say embarrassed? What? Any other answers? Furious. Oh, furious. You sound furious too. Hmm. Open up. Oh, okay. Yanzin said because of the word open up and swallow me. He stated he wanted the to the ground to open up and swallow him or her. Okay. Enjoyable. Right. So, the boy was driving me up the wall. I shouted so that everyone could hear. It's very rude to steal someone's sun, sun launcher, you know. Then I turned around to leave, but as I turned, I slipped and fell into the pool. So during his or her experience, the writer felt furious. Someone is right. And at the end, he felt embarrassed. Okay, so beginning part, he was furious here, shouted. Okay, yes, Uncle. What is it? You raised your hand, Uncle. Oh, you know the one that people put the seat at the swimming pool that you can lie down, all right? Some, the, the white slide to lie down on the kind of seat that is long, 
and then you can either read a book or whatever. That is a sun launcher because it's basically for you to get suntan. Ah, right. Okay. All right. Okay. That's a course, a sun launcher. All right. Most of us don't even know the name. We just say that, you know, you want to sit, have a, take a seat. Let's take a seat. Okay. All right. Oh, Amira. All right. Okay. I need to know the name because I can just take a attendance from here. I don't have to write your names. I get your attendance easily. Okay. So don't leave until the end of the class huh? because I'm going to take the attendance at the end of the class only for Excel to record your attendance. So beginning, he felt furious because he shouted or she shouted very rude. And then when she slipped and fell, that's when she felt embarrassed. Okay. All right. Okay. So it's question three, which tenses do the writer use? Look at this. Which tenses do the writer use? Past tense. Past tense. What else? Past tense, yes. What other tenses was used besides past tense? There are three types of tenses that was used. Anyone can figure out? Past continuous. Past continuous, okay. Can you give me an example of a past continuous that you have seen? It's Tanisha, right? Okay. What is an example of a past continuous that you saw? The line there afterwards, after that, I, you, I was usually starving. I was usually starving. Okay. All right. Any, got one more kind of tense? Anyone? Teacher, mm -hmm. how about past perfect simple? Mm, give me an example that you see there. I had learned to get up early and, and save a son longer by leaving my tower on it. Okay. All right. Good. So let me show you the one in purple are all example of past simple. Okay, the past simple, right? Was, meant, was crowded, enjoyed, approached, was astonished, picked, was again waved, explained, smiled, was uh, shouted, turned, uh, slipped, fell, thought, was. There are so many, yeah? So majority is past simple. Then you have like what Tanisha say, there are two or three. I was having, okay, I was usually starving, and this boy was driving. So these are known as the past continuous. And very true, I forgot what's the girl's name who spoke to me just now, Kau, not Kawe. Is it Yenzin who spoke to me about the past perfect simple? Or is Yenzin, right, okay. So, had learned. So, this is an example of the past perfect simple. So, you have the past simple, the past continuous, and the past perfect simple. Right? Okay? So, you also can do that when you are writing your own account of a true event that something happened to you. You don't always use the simple past tense. You can use the continuous and the past perfect simple. Right? Question number four, which linking words or phrases do the writer use? Uh, you see, we are going to, when you are writing an account, you write when and where, you talk about the writer's feelings, then you go into tenses, and now you are looking at linking words. These are all very important ingredients to make your writing uh, effective. Okay, so which linking words did the writer use? Oh, God. Anyone? After that. After that, all right. Later. Later. Some more. Okay. Then, Kawi say then. Yanzin say after that. Later. Then. All right. Good. Some more. Anyone else? 
But on that day. But on that day, all right. Any more? Then. Then, ready, sit by someone. Especially, mm, not really, but okay. I'm trying to figure out where it was that thing. But as I turn, okay. So, so, all right. Okay, so here, I, oh, what did I do? What did I do? All right, so you have and is a conjunction, all right, to sh show um, just basic, very simple. And is very, very simple, linking words and phrases, huh? Then you got just now someone say after that, later, but the beginning part of the essay, then, but. Now, be careful. In Malaysia, when you write sentence using but in the beginning, many of the teachers, they don't like it, correct? You have been told from primary school, never start a sentence with but. So please be careful not to start your sentence with but. All right, I am fine. You start sentence with but, but you have to remember you cannot make it into a habit because I do not know how uh, the examiner will mark when you are in form five. And then you will say, doctor said but can, and then when I do but, I didn't get high marks. Okay, so be careful about that, right? And then you have so, okay, you have so, you have s, right? So these are the linking words use and after that, so, later, but, as, and then. Okay, now if you look at page 33 of your uh, textbook, you know when we were talking about writing story, you can see linking words and phrases under C. Okay, these are words that you can also use for this um, story that you are writing. Okay. So don't feel that you have already missed uh, the chapters that you don't have to, oh, I already done this chapter, so no need to bother. Always go back to what you have thought um, earlier because everything has connection. All right? Okay? Clear? So you can go back to page 33 to look at that. I'm trying to look at one more. Another one is page 57. Okay, page 57. C also got linking words and phrases, which it was an exercise for you all to do. That is another one. So page 33 and page 57 got good linking words that you can use when you are writing your story. Thank you, Fatih. Right, last question. How does the writer manage to make the account exciting? How does he manage to make the account, that means the story that he's writing here about the true event, exciting? How does he, how does the writer did that? Any idea? Okay, the, the, the answer is this. He used what? These are, you know, adjectives? Look at the adjectives he used. No, he, uh, yes, he's experienced definitely, but how does he make it exciting? He used strong adjective. Marvelous, enormous. Enormous is really very big, okay? Delicious, instead of everything very nice, the food, I enjoyed a nice breakfast, a delicious, a scrumptious. Okay, I was usually hungry. I was usually starving. What other words can you use? I am what? Um, there's another word I cannot remember. Okay, I was furious. Instead of I was angry. Angry is simple word. I was furious. I was enraged. Okay, filthy is dirty. So filthy, right? So these are strong adjectives. When you write that, one, you show the examiners that you have a lot of vocabulary. Two, it makes it exciting to read such words. Next, he used, you remember? These are, uh, what is that called? Direct speech. What's this, direct speech? What's this? It's like a conversation. Maybe the wind blew it. It's very rude to steal someone's sun launcher, you know? You know, you must have the quotation mark and all that. So you have direct speech. It makes 
it makes the person who's reading as though they are there with you and they are listening to this conversation, right? And then you have, ah, the boy was driving me up the wall, okay? I wanted the ground to open up and swallow me. These are known as? You just learned just now in your speaking lesson. Yes. Idiom. Yes. So you use idioms to express feeling. All right. So these are what he did. And then don't forget exclamation mark. All right. You can see the exclamation. The boy was driving me up the wall. Exclamation mark. He's very rude. Exclamation mark. I slipped and fell into the pool. Exclamation mark. So you can see a lot of exclamation mark question or question. So exclamation marks gives us um, the makes a, a story more interesting. Okay. So by using direct speech, exclamation marks, a variety of adjectives, the one in blue, and idioms, the one in red, expressing feelings. Direct speech is the one in purple. Okay. Exclamation mark is the circle in purple. All right. So this is how they make the writing and the account exciting. So remember all these points, number one to number five in activity A, to make your writing interesting. And then you have a sample uh, essay there to show you how to write an interesting essay. All right. I'm going to ask you some comprehension question before we continue, right? Um, was the writer having a great time? Do I want to look at all this? All right. Was the writer having a great time? Yes or no? In my opinion, no. No. Okay. Anyone else? No. Nobody got any other answer. Look at the first sentence here. It was a third day of a marvelous holiday. All right. So when it was marvelous holiday, was he having a good or was he or she having a good time? Yes. Uh, beginning, yes. So he was having a good time. What was the hotel like? What was the hotel like? Enormous. Right. Enormous, huge, big. How many people? Using, uh, were many people using the pool? Were many people using the pool? Yeah, it was crowded. Yeah. Yes, because of the word crowded tells you many people was using the pool. Right. Uh, what did the writer do every day when he get up? What did he do every day? What did the writer do every day when he get up? He saved a sun Yeah, he get up early to save a sun launcher, right? Yes. By yes. leaving a towel. Okay, he leave a towel. All right. After leave the towel, what did the writer do? He will take his breakfast. Yes, he will enjoy his breakfast or her breakfast. Okay. On the third day, what happened? What happened on the third day? His towel was on the floor and the teenage boy was on the lounger. Ah, right, Tanisha. The teenage boy was on his lounger and the towel was on the floor. Okay, what did the boy say? What did the teenage boy say when he said that, you know, uh, the, 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 why was the towel on the floor? He said it's the towel. Huh? The wind blew it off. The wind blew it off. The others are very quiet. I don't know. They are lazy to answer or whatever. Okay. All right. And um, what did everyone else think of the incident at the end? Everyone else. What did everyone else think about the incident? Was it was hilarious. Okay. Hilarious means very funny. Was it hilarious to the writer? No. 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 It was what? Well, Admirous. Ah, the writer, it, it was an embarrassment for the writer, but it was hilarious for everyone else. Okay? All right. Interesting story, actually, right? When you read that, I enjoyed reading this story, actually. It was funny. It made me laugh. At the same time, I can feel what the writer was feeling. All right. Let's continue with activity B. 
Now read the account again and find the words that means. I already given you very nice in paragraph one. What it, what answer would it be? Write it in the chat. What answer you think would be very nice? Very nice. Right in the chat. Marvelous, 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 marvelous. I do not know whether it's true. Everyone, fantastic answer. Okay, let's check. No, I didn't have the answer yet. Very big. What you think is very big? Paragraph one. Enormous, 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 wonderful. Everyone is giving me the answer. I love it. Okay, I don't know whether you're right or not. Next, very hungry. Oh, starving, 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 starving. Yes. Right. Next. Very tasty. Wow. It's like a competition. Eh? Before I can show the word, everyone's giving the word. Next. Very surprised. You see? We've got to very fa fast. I know to finish my sentence. She came up with the words already. Right. Very surprised. Uh, very surprised. Okay. Astonished. Let's check later. Very angry. Dr. Eli is always very angry. Now don't use the word angry if you see me angry. You know what another word to use. Dr. Eli is furious. Okay, very dirty. Mm. Who's very dirty here? Filthy, filthy, filthy. Sudah mandi pagi tak, everybody? That's the most important question. Right, okay. Yes, very funny. Very funny. Okay, let's check your answers. Very good. I love your participation. So you got marvelous, enormous, starving, delicious, astonished, furious, filthy, hilarious. So you all got it correct. Excellent. Give yourself a clap. Okay, very good. So now I don't want to hear very this, very that, very, very, very. Find the correct adjectives. Okay? Everything is very, very, okay? Very nice, very good, very wonderful. No more. Find other words to describe your feeling or, okay, things. Now, replace the strong adjectives with very and the adjectives in the box. Before that, you need to tell me. When we say we stayed at a tiny cottage in the woods, right? How, what, what picture do you have in your head? The cottage is very, very small, yeah. So you would have, how would you change the word tiny? Now, tiny is a better word, but how would you use with very? We stayed at a... Why? Anyone want to try? Speak, speak. Can you use the mic? Katin? Aina? Very small. Okay, so we, you want to say we stayed at a, tiny, uh, at a very small cottage in the woods. I found the cruise down the river fascinating. What very can you use, use here? Very what? Fascinating. Very? Anyone? Very interesting. Very interesting. Next. Tina had forgotten to bring her gloves and her hands were freezing. Very cold. Very cold. Very cold. Very cold. Very cold. We were exhausted after walking to the top of the hill. Very tired. Very tired. Very tired. Mr. and Mrs. Wright. I am Mr. and Mrs. Wrong. Huh? We're delighted to win a holiday to Thailand. Very, very, happy. very, very, happy. very pleased. There is no happy, pleased. Okay, very pleased. And we wanted to go swimming, but the weather was dreadful. Very bad, very bad. Very bad. Okay, so you got here, very good, very small, very interesting, very cold. Very tired, very pleased, and very bad. Okay? When you are when you do this activity, you have to rewrite the sentences, huh? Not do what I did, huh? You have to rewrite. We stayed at a very small cottage in the woods. I found the cruise down the river very interesting. Clear? 
Okay, don't do what I do by just putting at the end like this because I'm doing PowerPoint. All right. Okay, good. Now, activity C, focus on the bold words. Okay, why are they asking you to focus? Right, what, okay. What are the effects of the strong adjectives in each set of the sentence? What are the effects? Instead of using very small, very interesting, very cold, very tired, very tiring, very tired, very uh, pissed, very bad. And instead you use tiny, fascinating, freezing, exhausted, delighted, third, dreadful. What are the effects? Uh, the makes, it makes the story more living. More alive. What are you trying uh, to say? Yes. I think more alive. All right, let's see. More. Okay, so strong adjectives are more effective than the adjective preceded by very. They are more effective. Okay, like like uh, someone said, it makes your story more alive. Okay, and also it enhance your vocabulary. People are interested to read your story. All right, so this is the answer. Right? Okay, now your task. Read the text again. Right, that text again. And then write three sentences explaining the cause of an action or an event. For example, the writer got up early in order to save a sun launcher is the cause of an action. Meaning she, the cause is uh, the action to save, sorry, the action to save a safe launcher causes her to get up early. And three sentences explaining the consequences of an action. Consequences, the towel was filthy because it was on the floor. Clear or not clear? One, you have to explain the cause. One, you have to explain the consequences. So she got up early. The reason she got up early, what caused her to got up early is because she wants to save a launcher. All right. The consequences of the towel falling on the floor is that it is filthy. Clear or not clear what I'm trying to ask you to do now? Yes. So go back to the, um, sorry, I don't have that. So I have to go back this way. Look back at the text here. Okay. Tell me three sentences that show causes. So one really done. She got up early because she wants to save a sun launcher. What other cause? What other causes? Are there? Anyone? But as I approached the sun launcher, I was astonished to see my towel on the floor. What is the cause? Is that a cause? Or is that a consequences? The cause. Okay, what is the cause? Uh, she enjoy a swim. Where? Here. Okay, look at this, huh? Right? Um, after that, I, I was usually starving, so I enjoyed a delicious breakfast. Okay? The cause for her to have a delicious breakfast is because of what? Um, because she was starving. Because she was starving. Mm. Okay? All right? Okay? Uh, what is the cause? Why do somebody do something? That is the cause. Right? Why, what was the cause of her to be furious? Here, what's the cause of her she to be furious? Uh, uh, yes, no, there are two reasons. There are two causes here that she was furious. One, the towel was on the floor. And, and the other one because teenage boy was on the, on the Okay, what about consequence? 
what is the consequence? One, the consequence is the towel was dirty because it was on the floor. Okay. Tamo, what other consequences are there? She shouted at him. Yes, because of him, the consequence of the towel on the floor and he uh, was uh, giving smart ass answer, maybe the wind blew it off. She was angry, she shouted. That was the consequence. Okay, all right, what else? The consequence of her turning around, what happened? She, she fell into the pool. Yes, yeah, she slept, slipped and fell into the pool. pool. Clear or not now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. so when you are writing about your own account of a true event, you have to think about the causes, you have to think about the consequences. Okay, cause is penyebab. Consequences is why? Akibat. Result. Uh, okay, penyebab dengan akibat. What is the reason it happened? And what is the after effect of it? Right? Okay. Right, let's continue. Right. We have done this. And we have done this, okay? Right, now tips. This is also in your textbook, page 73. When writing an account of a true event, follow the plan of writing a story which is in page 33. Okay, please look back at page 33 on how to write a story. Use the first person, I or we, if you go with a group of friends, it's we. If you went alone somewhere, I. When you're family, we. Divide your account into paragraphs. Just look at the sample given, all right, um, on page 73 that you have seen. Use past tenses and linking words. So it can be past simple, past continuous, and past perfect, all right? Try to make it interesting for the reader by using direct speech, okay? The one with quotation marks. Question, ask questions also. Exclamation marks. Use adverbs or adverbial phrase like suddenly, fortunately, to my surprise, okay? A variety of adjectives. Use awful instead of bad, right? Expression or idioms like I jumped out of my skin. My heart was in my mouth, right? The one that you learned just now in speaking, you use that in your writing too, okay? Any question about the tips? Any question? The tips are very important because it gives you extra information on how you can write better. So use the tips, use the sample essay. Okay, so activity B, you need to think of a funny, embarrassing, scary or annoying experience that you have had and write about it. Do all of you have any funny, embarrassing, scary or annoying experience? I'm sure you have, right? Because I have many, plenty. I'm sure you do too. Yes, okay. So think of one, all right? And then write about it. Don't do all four. Choose one that is funny or embarrassing or scary or annoying, right? And then in preparing your recount in activity D, you must explain why the funny, embarrassing, scary or annoying situation came about. That means the cause. What is the cause and what happened because of the situation, the consequence? Okay, clear? You must say what came about. So the cause of the last story was, you know, the boy sat at sun launcher, the uh, tower fell down, so that was the cause. And what happened is the consequences. You know, she shouted and then she turned, she fell, and she embarrassed herself, but for others, it is hilarious. Clear? Everyone? Mm. Okay, so homework, complete activity A, complete activity B, complete activity C, complete activity D, and then please use your exercise book if you have. If you don't have, I don't think for, for Alpha have the exercise book, or you can even type it on MS Word, or you can use paper and upload it or the images at the task set in Google Classroom. I already um, have saved as a draft. I will release it in a while. 
Now, for God's sake, please make sure the image, is, if you um, snapshot, please make sure it's straight because some of you put it sideways and I'm sad to say my neck can't turn sideways and it's so painful for me to turn for your essay and do the comment. You know, it's very funny if you look at me and take a picture of me checking your essay, turning my head sideways, trying to read your essay. Please lah, kesian lah saya punya leher. Okay, you write one, I have to check so many. Okay, so sometimes it annoys me, all right? So make sure it's upright if you are uploading image. If you are using MS Word, it's fine. It's the way um, it is. So I'm fine with it. Most of the time, I will prepare all the tasks, ask you to fill up at Google Form and all that. But this one is quite difficult. This one you have to write. All right? So um, the next lesson will be next um, Monday. Next week, Monday. All right? Um, next Monday at the same time, 7.30. Please uh, ask your friends to attend the class, all right? As um, it's important for them to come, all right? Hold on, I'm trying to stop the recording.